Introduction. As we mentioned before, some researchers believe that the heart is only a blood pumping machine. Also, some people believe that the mentioned heart in Quran is the moral heart like soul, not the physical one. But what is the truth? God creates heart before the brain in the embryo, and it starts to pulsing from the first day of creation till death. Scientists believe that the brain is controlling these pulses, but they notice that during heart implantation surgeries, the new heart starts to pulsing immediately before it gets any orders from the brain. That considered being a sign that the brain and heart are working independently, also they believe that the heart direct brain and each cell in the heart have got a memory. Dr. Schwartz says that our history is stored inside each cell in our body. Facts about heart. The heart is the engine that feeds more than 300 million cells in the human body. Its weight is about 250-300 gram. You can put it in your fist. The ill heart may weigh about 1000 gram because of the enlargement. The heart starts its mission since you are an embryo 21 days after start of pregnancy to pumping blood to the entire body. When you are an adult your heart can pump more than 70,000 liters of blood every day. When you reach the age of 70, the total pumped amount of blood would be more than a million barrels during these years. Heart provides all cells of our body with oxygen, as cells pick up oxygen to burn it to feed itself, and then it throws carbon gas and poison materials in blood as the heart pumps it again toward the lungs which purify the blood, and throw carbon gas during the breathing process, inhalation and exhalation. The length of the vascular network in our body is about 100,000 kilometers. The relation between brain and heart. Does brain control heart as said by scientists, or vice versa? Scientists admit that medicine is still undeveloped, as they have no idea about the precise operations in the human brain. Also how can we remember things? And why do we sleep? They published only what they see and observes in their researches without understanding any kind of an absolute rule concerning these operations. But we are the Muslims who have absolute rules, which are the known rules, in Quran 14 century ago. Many verses tell us that the heart is the center of feeling, thinking, and memory. Only from 30 years, researchers started to notice the relation between brain and heart, when they noticed that the heart has a vital role in understanding the surrounded world, and they had found that heart can affect the electrical activity of the brain. Scientists did prove that there is no relation between heart and emotions. It is so hard to prove such a thing. But scientifically, the heart is connected with the brain through a very complicated network of neurons, and there are flows of messages between both of them, in the form of electrical signals. Scientists confirm that the heart and brain are working simultaneously in harmony and without that harmony, troubles might occur. Dr. Armour says that the heart has a special system in processing incoming information from the entire body and success of heart transplantation depends on the neural system of the transplanted heart, and how much it can adapt to the patient. Interesting scenes. Linda Marks who used to be a therapist in the heart center for more than 20 years says people used to ask me a question, what are you doing in a heart center, and you know that heart is only a blood pumping machine, so that there is no relation between heart and human psychology? My answer was, I always feel with a big difference in people's psychology before and after heart transplantation, as I feel with many changes in his or her emotions, but in fact, I had no scientific evidence for that. Till I met Dr. Linda Rusek, who recorded the transmitted electromagnetic frequencies from heart and brain, and how much these frequencies affect the brain of the other people. Prof. Gary Schwartz specialist in psychiatry at Arizona University and Prof. Linda Rusek believes that the heart has a special power that enables it to store and process information. Therefore memory is not only in the brain but also in the heart. Prof. Gary made a research which included more than 300 patients who performed transplantation surgery, and he found that all patients were exposed to many psychological changes after the surgery. Prof. Gary Schwartz says, we made a heart transplantation surgery for an ill child, as we implanted the heart of a dead child in the body of that child. Mother of the dead child says every time I huge the child I feel as if my child's still alive, and that child is my one. That child started to suffer from a defect in his left side, and that was the same case as the dead child. How can we explain that? Simply, because the heart started to supervise brain activities, and that defect occurred because the heart started to make some development in the child's brain. Prof. Linda says another story for a girl who performed a heart transplantation surgery, but after the operation, 
She used to feel with pain in her chest, and when she asked her doctor he told her that feeling with pain is because of the medicines. But later, they knew that the heart inside her was transmitted from another girl who was hit by a car in a car accident and the last word, the dead girl said was I feel with pain in my chest. Also, another story for a girl who sank in the pool, and her family donated with her heart to another boy who used to be afraid of water after the heart transplantation surgery, and he always feels afraid as he used to ask his family not to drop him in water. The heart is responsible for emotions. An interesting discovery that is all people who changed their hearts with an artificial one had lost their feelings and ability to love. In November 8, 2007, the American newspaper Washington Post published a reportage about Peter Houghton who made an artificial heart transplant. He says, My feelings had changed, I am not able to know what I hate and what I love even I don't have feelings toward any of my grandchild. That man became not interested in anything even in money or life itself, and he became had no idea about the reason for life, and he started to think to commit suicide. He became not able to understand the world or to think about the future, and also he lost his belief in God, and became careless about the hereafter like before. Till this moment, scientists don't understand this phenomenon and the secret behind that psychological change. Prof. Arthur Kaplan Head of Medical Ethics at the University of Pennsylvania says, Scientists used to deal with the human body, as if it is a machine, and we never gave any attention to the relationship between feelings and organics, in our body. The artificial heart is a mechanical device which implanted into the body to replace the biological heart. It uses a battery as a power supply. If you put your ear on the patient's chest, you can hear the sound of an electrical machine not pulses of a heart. On December 2, 1982, Dr. William DeVries implanted the artificial heart into retired dentist Dr. Barney Bailey Clark, B. January 21, 1921, who survived 112 days with the device, dying on March 23, 1983. In 2001 scientists manufactured an artificial heart called ABOCOR. The first ABOCOR to be surgically implanted in a patient was on July 3, 2001. The ABO core is made of titanium and plastic with a weight of 2 pounds, and its internal battery can be recharged with a transduction device that sends power through the skin. The first completely artificial heart was implanted in 2001 in a patient's body, who's still alive for four months till he died. The American Administration for Food and Drugs confirmed that the artificial heart failed in its mission as all patients who implanted it died after a couple of months due to sudden angina pectoris. Brain in the heart. The most reasonable explanation for this phenomenon is that there are some special programs for memory inside cells of our heart, which stores all events. These programs send these memories to the brain in order to process it. Heart pulse's rate is changing according to the psychological and emotional status of us. DRJ Andrew Armour confirms that there is a very complicated brain inside the heart. In our heart, there are more than 40,000 neurons that work in an extraordinary precision to control the heart pulses, hormone production, and information storing, after that this information is sent to the brain. This information plays a vital role in realizing and understanding. So information flows from the heart to the brain through special paths, then it leads brain cells to be able to understand and realize. Nowadays scientists are working to establish many centers concerned about studying the relationship between heart and brain, and the relation between the heart and the cognitive and psychological operations. Vibrations from the heart. Dr. Paul Pearsall says that the heart can feel and remember and it transmits vibrations to communicate with other hearts, also it helps in organizing immunity of the body also, it transmits information in each pulse to the entire body, therefore some researchers have got a question, is it possible for the memory to stay deep inside our hearts? The heart with its organized harmony controls the entire body as it considered to be a method to linking all cells when blood goes into each cell then it feeds these cells, not only with oxygen, but also with information. In Heart Math Institute, they found that heart has a very strong electromagnetic field, which affects all surrounding people. Therefore humans can communicate with others only with his heart without talking. The Heart Math Institute had performed many experiments to prove that the heart transmits electromagnetic frequencies, which affect the brain. So heart may affect the realizing and the understanding of human. Also they found that heart transmits a very strong electrical field which controls the entire body. The curve below represents heart pulses and the upper three curves represent brain reactions. 
therefore the brain is affected by heart and its frequencies changes according to the heart condition. Also, they found a relation between the number of heart pulses and the transmitted waves from the brain, alpha waves. The more heart pulses the more transmitted waves from the brain. Heart and Realization Roland McCurdy and Mike Atkinson had made a research, which was published in the annual meeting of the Pavlovian Society. They found that there is a relation between the heart and the realization. They proved this relation by measuring the electromagnetic activity of the heart and brain, when people are trying to understand something. They found that when heart performance is at a low level, realizing also will below. The results of the Institute of Heart Math were marvelous, they found that when you speak or touch another person, the changes in your heart will affect the brain activities of the other person. This means that your heart affects his brain, 